Hey guys, um, this is my first impression of the Benchmade 790 uh, MPR Mini Pocket Rock, Rock Mini Pocket Rocket by uh, Shane Siebert. Um, this is not the first production knife; it's a second run. Um, I waited for the second run because I uh, there was a I heard there was problem with the clip on the first run and the detent on the first run. Uh, this one seems fine, and uh, you can flip, flick it out really fast. The, the knife is very smooth, and it, the blade is centered. Uh, the knife weighs 5.5 ounces, so it's a little bit heavy for uh, EDC carry, but for people who love this knife, uh, it won't matter to you. Uh, the pocket clip, and a little bit uh, I don't know if that's normal it's a little bit it's not touching scales uh, which is good I think because the G10 is really really uh, grippy and which is bad for your pants if the uh, clip is touching uh, you can rip your pants off after a few uh, in and outs uh, the blade it uses uh, M, let's see if you can see, M390 blade. It's uh, it says right here. Okay, focus. Okay, right there. And uh, it's a uh, supposedly super steel. The Rockwell hardness is uh, 60 to 62, which is very hard, considering Chris Reeves' uh, Svenza is. 58 to 59 and if I'm not mistaken um, the thumb stud is very well designed it is designed for both hands to open I'm not lefty so um, the the hole on top it's a little bit sharp but it doesn't hurt your finger what it gives is that it gives traction actually so um, you actually are push well me I'm pushing down the thumb stud and uh, push the blade out. Uh, as you can notice, there's a little bit of uh, uh, stops here. So when the tang of the blade it's uh, it's up the titanium lock bar, the lock bar will not go all the way in. And I guess that's uh, that's good. I don't, probably good because. Um, yeah, it's probably good. Um, the G10 and the titanium, uh, they uh, melt very nicely. G10, titanium, G10. And uh, there's no sharp edges neither on this one. The, the jimping is very grippy, very good. And one thing I've noticed is that the uh, the blade stop is it's not like the other blades it's uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know how many sides it is like octangular maybe you can see that most of the blade uh, stop I see it's a uh, circular so that is a nice touch uh, the gym being it's uh, kind of slippery for normal use, but uh, yeah, well, no, there's no grip um, because it's not sharp, it's rounded. The blade is very thick. This is fitted for a lot of a uh, uh, hard job. You can probably uh, pry with it. That's the Seabird logo. Uh, the ergonomic, very good. The blade is 2.9 inches, so it's not uh, really a long knife. For tactical use, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe you can use it for tactical, but uh, I think it's better for EDC users.
or uh, maybe as a backup tough blade. The, the design is not fell through, so uh, if you get dirt in, inside, you will have a lot of uh, tough time cleaning up. Alright, great knife, deploys fast, lock is uh, easy to disengage, detents good, you can see that it sucks right in, no complaints. And uh, this knife I got it for about uh, $40 less than the first production run and that's uh for me that's a bargain because it's a better build knife and with much less much less um price so so you guys know i'll uh, give them update after i uh, carry and use it and do a comparison with a uh, similar knife if i have it all right, thank you for watching, bye.